Welcome to Basics of Micropipetting, where we'll take you through how to use the most common micropipettes found in university laboratories. Here you see the P20, P200, and P1000. These have a manual volume setting and can be found in any upper level university lab. We'll first take a look at the P20 and how to read its volume setting. It has a range of 2 to 20 microliters, and you divide the three-digit number by 10 in order, to, in order to get the number of microliters that you'll be dispensing. For the P200, the effective range is 20 to 200 microliters. And the three-digit number that you see correlates to the actual number of microliters that you'll be drying and dispensing. For the P1000, the effective range is 200 to 1000 microliters, and you'll multiply the three-digit number you see by 10 in order to get the number of microliters that you'll be working with. Each micropipette has a plunger at the top that has two stops on it. The first stop is used to prime the micropipette to draw liquid, and the second stop is used to expel everything in the micropipette tip. Now I'll take you through the steps of actually using the micropipette. First you need to get a new tip every time you use a new substance or the tip you're using touches anything. You need to then check your volume setting. Right now we're using the P200 at a 100 setting, so that will be 100 microliters. You depress the plunger to the first stop and then put the tip in the substance and release the plunger slowly to draw the liquid. You'll then depress the plunger to the second stop in order to expel everything. When you're finished, press the button next to the plunger to eject to eject your tip. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something.